all important videos start with a black screen. Great music and a dramatic logo. Oh, hello there. I didn't know anyone would be here yet. Well, uh, welcome to Batman's office. I am Batman. My assistant tells me that you are here for this year's KitCon as a part of Virtual Sci-Fi Fantasy Fest with the Hoover Public Library. My assistant also says that I have to apologize that I can't be there in person. I personally don't mind not having to leave my manor, and I think that fun can still be had from home. My assistant and I have planned several fun activities for you to do from the comfort of your home. The first one is doing Lego recreations of the all-time best movie in the whole world. Lego Batman! I enlisted the help of some children that I know to give you all some examples. Wow, it is almost like being there for the filming of the movie. Very impressive. Almost as good as I could have done myself. Our next activity is going to be making a bat signal. That way, if you ever need my help, you'll be able to call me from wherever you are. But don't overuse it. I don't want to be running around like a crazy person. Here is my assistant demonstrating on how to make a bat signal. To start, these are the supplies you will need. A pencil, a black marker, tape, parchment paper, a toilet paper roll, a rubber band, and some carpet. Now you will trace the toilet paper roll onto the parchment. Next, draw my Batman symbol inside the circle, just like that. Then you will take a pencil and poke holes around the edge of the Batman symbol, but not enough holes that the parchment paper falls apart. Lastly, attach the parchment paper to the toilet paper roll with either tape or a rubber band. Then you can use a flashlight to shine a light through the toilet paper roll so that you can see the bat signal. And hopefully you won't lose the rubber band like my assistant did. Perfect. Now that you have your own bat signal, it is time to make a Lego headcraft. Here are my assistant's hands back again to show us how it's done. The supplies you will need are colored markers, whiteout, tape, popsicle sticks, scissors, and yellow paper. The first step is to draw the outline of a Lego head figure and give it a face just like this. You can make the face look like however you want it to. These are two examples here. Once you cut it out, you will use the tape to tape the popsicle sticks to the Lego head so you can hold it up to your face and pretend you are a Lego person, just like me. Well done, well done. Now you have your very own Lego head. All you need is some black clothes and a cape, and you could be just like me. Except not as cool. I am the coolest. Our last activity we have for LEGO Batman KidCon 
is some coloring sheets. These coloring sheets can be found and printed in the link found in the comment section of this video. I consider myself to be an expert colorer, but I'm sure you can color almost as well as I can. Thank you all so much for participating in KidCon 2020. My assistant would love for you to send any pictures of you doing our activities to any of the HBO Kids social media pages or send them in an email to hblkids1 at gmail.com. That is hblkids, the number one, at gmail.com. And make sure to check out all the cool virtual activities that are a part of Sci-Fi Fest 2020. Batman is out. See ya. Is the camera off yet? Turn the camera off. <laughs>